Guys, I am jamming out to some sick tunes you can't hear, but it is... <sighs> it's on another level. It's on another level. What's happening? How you guys doing? Nice to see you. It's uh, episode... 11? Is it 11? Might be 11. Might be 10. I'll tell you. I should know this. It's 11. <laughs> Let's play What Is Odd Jamming Out To. Okay. I'll give you... I'll give you... Uh, I'll give you one hint. They have at least... Eight albums. They have at least eight albums. What's up, Millbrook? Hey, Sofi. Hey, Diogo. Hey, Arata. Hey, Soren. Hey, Tal. Nope. No, it's not BFG Division. You blew it. You blew it. S Club 7. Holy smokes. S Club 7. What a throwback. S Club 7. Oh my god. Weren't these guys on like a... Uh... I feel like these guys were on a Big Shiny Tunes album or something. I think it was a Big Shiny Tunes album. Not Daft Punk. No. No. Not Daft Punk. Mm mm. Mm mm. Uh uh. Mm 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 mm. It's. Uh, it's Nickelback. It was Nickelback. It was Nickelback. <laughs> it was Nickelback. And the song was. Uh, Coin for the Ferryman. Unbelievable. Uh, you know what? I'll even link it for you guys. Because I can't play it. Otherwise, I'll be in jail. I'm telling you, if you're anti-Nickelback, you know, that's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. But I'm just saying, one listen to this song, totally going to change your mind. Totally going to change your mind. I'm cool with it. You guys, I'm cool with it. You, yeah, I'm cool with it. And if I'm cool with it, that's all that matters. <laughs> I love a little lift back. Yeah, once in a while. Not too often. There was a period of time there, so they were they did like some really catchy stuff when they were just starting out, right? And then they started doing some like once uh how you remind me like blew up. Then they kind of went and like were like, "Okay, what do we do to manufacture songs that will get played on the radio all the time?" So they did that. They brought out the acoustic guitars, they brought out the happy go lucky songs, and then like and then, and then they weren't cool anymore. It got ruined. They ruined themselves. And then they started putting out like, okay, we don't care anymore. We're, we're super rich. We don't, we don't need to prove anything. And then they started playing some heavy tunes. And you could tell like they like, they, they want to be like a heavier band. It's super cool. I like it. Did I get my bike yet? <laughs> God. I can't, I can't. You guys, I like, I'm sad about it. It's just, it's, it's in June now. It's sometime in, in June. So, like, literally as soon as I know, trust me, everyone that I know will know. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be as patient as possible. My understanding is the, the Indian factory shipment days are Wednesdays. So that's when I get my updates from my uh, dealership. So we'll see. We'll see. They sold out. Yeah, this is the thing about Nickelback. If you read these last few lines, so Milbrook says, I don't hate them. They're just about the most meh band in existence. I, like, have no opinion. And then Justin's like, they sold out. And then JB's like, I think they get more hate than they deserve. And then Mal says, I never understood why people hate them so much. I agree. With all of you. <laughs> That's the thing. You're all correct. You're all correct. Everyone's right. No one's wrong. What's up, Vibav? Am I saying that right? Yeah, I know it's June now. So if you were following the saga in May, uh, it was supposed to be May 5th that it would ship from the Indian factory. Then it was supposed to be the 12th, then the 19th, then the 26th. And here we are. Uh, now their system that used to say, like, what week? Now their system just says June. It's not a great, it's not a great sign. Not a great sign. But if, I swear to God, if I miss, if I miss my summer of riding, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna lose it. Lose it. Okay, we were doing something. Power restored. All primary systems online. We were doing something uh, at the end of the last stream, and I couldn't get it to work, or we, we were short on uh, some type of some type of thing. It's this. We're short on we're short on the lithiums. We're out of lithiums. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sc start scanning for some lithiums. How you guys doing? How was your Sunday? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to know. This is not where I need to be. I got to reacquaint myself with my base. Um, I don't know about you guys, but like they've been loosening some restrictions here. Wait a second. Uh, lithium's on its own drop, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's put it out there. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but they've been loosening restrictions here. So, uh, I think I mentioned that the other day, um, we had some friends over to watch, uh, the hockey game. Canadians, by the way, came back from being three games down. It was three, or sorry, two games down, I guess. It was 3-1, Toronto. And Montreal came back and won three games in a row. Absolutely insane to watch. It was really good to watch. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't know about you. Primary directive. <laughs> Investigate and eliminate. I will. Don't worry. I'll eliminate everything. Uh, they've been loosening restrictions. And so we started having some friends over to watch the hockey games and stuff. And it's been, like, really awesome to, like, just chill out and things are kind of normal-ish. You know what I mean? However, I've noticed that it's, uh... It can be kind of draining, but, like, not in a bad way. It's just, like, socializing is, uh... Takes energy. <laughs> it's not like we're even not like we're socializing hard. But it just takes energy. And I've noticed that... Uh, since I think we watched the first game was, uh, Friday? No. Yesterday was Monday. So it have been, uh, Thursday night, Saturday night, Monday night, I guess. Anyways, I've noticed that it's like, you're, I'm lower energy than I was. Because you gotta, like, be on. You know what I'm saying? And it's weird. It's very, it's just a strange vibe. That's why people drink. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. I feel like, I feel like even if you're drinking, your recovery period's gonna be even, even longer, you know? I'm gonna go get this one last lithium. Rolling down in the deep. So anyways, I'm all for like, more social gatherings. But my body is, is, uh, is taking its time getting used to that again, you know? But it's awesome. What's up, Sniff? Uh, Rob, thanks for the super chat. Hey, Odd, finally caught this series. Hey, I'm glad you're here, dude. Thank you so much. Goddeth, thanks for the super chat. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> Fry from Futurama. You know, that's a show I've never really watched. Same with Rick and Morty. I know, sacrilege. Welcome aboard, Captain. Sacrilege. Rick and Morty's on the list, though. I would really, I would really like to watch it. <clears throat> uh, can I? Thanks for the super chat. Hey, sorry about the bike. Where do they get their parts, Mars? <laughs> I they don't tell me what part is the issue, but I'm about ninety-nine point nine percent sure that it's just like the semiconductor shortage that everyone is experiencing, and uh, that's it. That's all. I don't think it's anything more than that. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Are we in major spoilery territory for today, like Endgame? I I don't know if we're going to see Endgame, but my plan is this. So I'll let you judge for yourself. I don't know how, how spoilery it will be. But um, my plan is to finish up this other room of our base. And then I'm thinking we don't have, like, a lot of other destinations to head to. We've been Phi Robotics. Uh, sorry, Phi Robotics out here. We've been to the mining site. We were at Outpost Zero uh saturday and then we need to go to this biological 
uh, what is this biological research center that's classified. So I feel like that's the that's probably where things are going to culminate. I don't have any other places to go. I don't have any other places to go. Rick and Morty is juvenile? Oh, really? I haven't heard that before. I always thought people like I thought people admired their writing and stuff. But uh hey man, I could I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. I've been wrong like once before. Let's swap these suckers out. Uh, let me take an extra one. So yeah, I don't know. Chat is probably going to be better at telling you uh, whether we're near end game or not. But I, I, I feel like we might be. But it might be a couple of streams. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, okay, so we definitely want to go to the... To here? Maybe? So, I need to get the depth upgrade mark 1. Oh no, I need to get the upgrade mark 2. Where do I upgrade this thing? Uh, is this at the mobile bay or whatever? Let me reacquaint. I'll actually take the upgrades first. Communications systems. So there's our Mark II. Let me see if it's the, the, the vehicle bay. I always forget where these upgrades are. It's not here either. Oh, modification station. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. Always. When in doubt, it's the modification station. Okay. Um, Mark three. What am I missing? Plasteel ingots. Oh, right. That's the other thing I was missing. Is, uh, we're missing titanium. We're missing titanium. So a couple things we could do. I could just go hit rocks. Or I could scan for salvage. Which might not be too bad. Let's see if we can scan for some salvage. Nice little chill way to start the stream. I always, I always like just diving in. No pun intended. And, uh... And just, you know, hitting rocks and chilling and gathering. Gathering some materials, if you will. Let me empty this so I can take as much as possible. And since we have the mod, I can just... I guess I can just dump this stuff in here. Like that. Alright, we have some metal salvage not too far from here. Hit rocks and salvage. That should have been the title. Good. That's a good call. Also a decent band name. Decent. Waffle Dog, thanks for the super chat. Oh boy, right in his face. That's cool. First started watching your Subnautica playthrough when I was really sick in the hospital. Really helped me get my mind off things. Oh, damn, dude. I ho hope you're better now, at least. Can you give us an update? Can you... Can you share if you feel comfortable? And that was all the metal salvage in this area. I guess we're hitting rocks. When in doubt, crack rocks. Was I short on lead? I feel like we don't need lead for anything right now, though. Uh, I'm looking at my pinned items. I think we're good. Oh, Communications systems we might have been short on lead for building uh, one of the structures. That's true. That's true. We'll get our upgrades done and then we can scan for Galenas or what have you. That's not too big of an issue. <clears throat> big money. Thanks for the membership, man. Appreciate that, dude. Arata, thanks for the super chat. Dues for the Habs win. Carey Price is a monster. Yeah, he's a beast. We were talking about that too, my buddy and I. We're not, I'm not like a big hockey fan or anything, but uh, it was showing like Carey Price's playoff stats and he was like a 93% save percentage, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And then my wife was telling the story of how she saw Carey Price as a vet one time. Uh, she was in, like, paying a bill, which was gigantic, obviously, because they always are. Uh, 
and then she saw Carrie Price bring his dog in. And what was really cool is um, nobody, nobody uh, like tried to go up and get an autograph. Everybody was super respectful, didn't bother him. Didn't even say like, oh, are you Carrie Price? Like she didn't hear any of that, which I thought was really nice to like respect that person's space, especially at the vet where it's clear that, um, you know, you're not there for like positive vibes usually. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Communications systems array active. Jeez, you guys are just bananas today. <laughs> wow. Goddeth says, uh, just finished watching the rest of these series. Had to wait a whole 30 minutes for the next one. So, I'm sorry to let you down. I'm glad you're here, though. I'm glad you got caught up. I think that's super cool. Thanks for doing that. Have you enjoyed it? Don't answer that. Don't tell me. I'm just going to assume that you did. I'll just assume you did. That's all. The Color Cave. Thanks for the super chat. Long time watcher. First time catcher of the live here on YouTube. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks, man. I'm glad you stopped by. Thanks. Yeah, you took one of the foundation last time. Exactly. Yeah, I remember that now. I do remember that. Uh, hold up. Lead is, lead is pretty challenging to come by. I'll, um, I'll, I'll scan for some lead here. I think that's, like, probably close, maybe, for titanium. Because we need to make an ingot, which takes, like, a billion. Uh, let me just see if I can do this here. Let's see if this will figure it all out. It will. Seek fluid intake. That's super nice. So this will just craft the plasteel for us. Uh, go Mark Three, And then we need to go Prawn Suit Mark Two. So I'll go grab that sucker. And then we need to build these like prawn arm things. We have a launcher and a sucker, I think. <laughs> launcher and a sucker. Yeah, Millbrook, exactly. I, I know we deconstructed the, uh, the platforms to get the lead, but I don't remember what for either. I don't recall. Okay. Phase one. Complete. It was probably like the... It was probably the water machine or... Oh, a thousand meters. Holy smokes. Probably the water machine or the alien containment or a, a reactor of some kind. You know, something like that. Wait, do I not have any depth on my prawn? Wait, what? Hold on. Red alert. Red alert. Uh, prawn suit. Sea truck mark one. Prawn suit mark one. Where is this? Do I not have a prawn suit Mark One? <laughs> I think we never built a prawn suit Mark One. You're kidding me. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We have this. We have the. We have the ability. Yeah, I think that's right. We were debating. Millbrook, you have such a good memory. Or I just have such a bad one. Also possible. Also possible. Okay, prawn suit. Depth mark one. Easy peasy. After weeks Watch me be out of quartz. I'll swear to God. To there we go, baby. It's funny. I don't think I could ever play this game again without the mod where it just takes from the, from the lockers. Like, in a way, I f it feels dirty. But it's so convenient. Especially for a scatterbrain like me. 1,100 meters. Holy, we've hit the big time. Okay, now we need the torpedo arm. We need the propulsion cannon. Some torpedoes. The thermal reactor. We don't need this. 
Do I have any water? I wonder if I could build this. The water filtration unit. It's massive. Probably could. Also, I don't remember if I need to put anything in it or if it just kind of makes stuff. Water filtration. Oh yeah, I need a I need a free wall. Noise. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I do need to put something in here. Filtration machine. So What do I need to put in here? Like a uh, I don't even know. Do I put water in there? And it makes it filtered water. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, it gives you salt and water bottles. Okay, cool. I was wondering. I was wondering. Thanks. Okay. Back over here. Let's build these arms. And then we're going to go and build our other base Welcome part there. Aboard, Captain. Prawn suit modules. So we need the propulsion cannon and the torpedo arm. Let's start with that. I like that it even breaks down our salvage. What's up, Jason? Now we get Evian. <laughs> this better be better than Evian. We need the thermal reactor. And then I'm out of titanium, but I can go get some of that. Okay. Anish. Anish is going to be pimped out Anish in a second here. <clears throat> Rough waves. Is that a bunny hug you got there? Thanks for the super chat, man. Loved your cringing vid. Your accent was much stronger back then. I never noticed. Dudes, that was... Okay. It took me a while to kind of settle into that. That was a really, really fun stream. It was really enjoyable. And I a lot of people seem to enjoy it, so I'm super pumped about that. Um, okay, so I guess we can just carry these. What I could even do is carry these on the uh on the prawn suit. And just swap them in when we need it. I don't I imagine this torpedo thing I could fend off like uh Leviathan or something i suppose and i'm not sure what we're going to use with the propulsion cannon but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because we got him so let me turn on the galena scanner uh that way we can get both titanium and maybe some lead and we rock and roll so there's going to be a cringe too, cringe harder. <laughs> it's going to be cringe too, the cringiest. Ugh. No, I, we can't do it for a long time. We can't do that for a long... Another, another like eight years of content. Guys, it takes a long time for me to come up with cringy content, okay? So, like, you're just going to have to... You're going to have to be patient. Very patient. I feel like, yeah, about eight years or so, we'll have some more cringe moments. Like, one or two. That, that we can we can pad that out to be like... Oh, yeah, the, the glitched. Glitched crops. Nasty. You can pad that out to like two and a half hours. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure it'll be fun. <laughs> the cringe is rare, let's be honest. Kissies! How about the anti-cringe, like the best of odd stream? You know what? The only thing I'd put in there is that triple headshot Resident Evil. That's it. That's my only, like, that's my proudest moment in gaming. The Resident Evil 8 triple headshot 
totally on purpose, totally planned. It absolutely nailed it. Yeah, Mal, you know it. That was sick. That was sick. Okay, why are, why do I have all these glitched Galenas? I wonder if I should build another uh, normal deal down here. Singed off my eyebrows. Oh yeah, titanium. I got like multiple. That's right. Yeet! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Rough waves. Are you from? Uh, are you from Western Canada? Dangerous weather approaching. I know Seek you said. Shelter. I know you said bunny hug, for a reason. No one just. Nobody says bunny hug, unless you're from Western Canada. sad i don't even need it i don't need no stinking diamonds anymore what i really need are the most basic of metals lead and titanium never heard of bunny hug and i've lived on vancouver island my whole life okay okay let me clarify uh saskatchewan and Alberta. They call them bunny hugs. And not until I moved here 10 years ago did I realize that saying bunny hug would get me flamed IRL <laughs> by friends. But, uh, yep. That's when I learned. Oh. Not bunny hugs. Okay. Now I kind of look at it a little differently, though. I, I kind of look at, like, um, the ones that you slip over your head. I would I would still say bunny hug is fine. Uh, but if they have a zipper, it's definitely a hoodie. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a pretty fair way to draw the line in the sand. When, obviously, you have to draw the line. You can't just have this ambiguous bunny hug hoodie mystery in the back of your mind at all times drive yourself crazy. Nice. How much lead do I have? Three. Need more than that, probably. I would be happy with 10. It's four. It's pretty good. It's almost 10. If there's a zipper, it's just a jacket? No, 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 no. It's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. A jacket has to be like thicker, you know? Like a jacket, a jacket and a hoodie. Totes different. Let's hit these ones. Bunny hug needs the front pocket you can put both hands into. Yeah, exactly. But it has to be a unipocket. Which means no zipper. You can't have a zipper split in the pockets. I agree with you on that front. We can agree on that distinction. Zipper is a zip up. Everything else is a hoodie. Well, oh, you're taking a 
you're taking a very strong stance there, Sneaks. It's a very, very strong stance. I appreciate it. I admire it, actually. You know what you stand for. Good for you. Oh, this frickin' snow fox. <laughs> what a... What a machine. What a machine. You'll die on this hoodie hill? <laughs> We can agree to disagree. As I get older, the more... The more I realize... Uh, it's almost always in your best interest to agree to disagree. You know? Unless you feel so passionately where you'll go to, like, a march. Or Warning. some type of protest of event. Remaining. Like, if you're not willing to protest in public for something that you believe in, then it's easier to just agree to disagree. But if you feel st strongly enough and that's the cutoff point where you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go march for this. That's the only thing that you really want to argue about. That's it. That's all. That's all. What's up, Fallen Knight? Thanks for the super chat, man. Was able to catch the stream today. Here's my late fee. Damn. You guys in your late fees. I'm like blockbuster over here. We all know how that ended up. Yee. That could be bad. Man, uh, <laughs> there was a documentary about the last the last blockbuster I saw recently. Oh my god. Glitched again. And uh it brought back so many memories of going to the video store. How many of you guys in chat... Okay, I want a real honest answer here. Okay? Lurkers. Lurker alert. I need your input. Lurker alert. Lurker alert. Get off your Zoom call. Uh, who in chat has never been to a video rental store? Doesn't even have to be Blockbuster. It could be anything. A video rental store... Tell me you've never been there. And then, if you have any follow-up questions, uh, all of us old people can explain it to you. Bobo's never been there? George. George Howarth. Have you ever been to Blockbuster Video? You still go to the local video store in Vancouver? For real? Yeah, I'm like stuck on the other side of this island now. Yeah, forever I rented Starship Troopers. And what a good rental as well. Good call. Starship Troopers. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's old school right there. I was there when they died, so I know what they are, but I never went to one. Oh, man. Okay, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This... Going to rent a movie... It was an event. Nowadays, obviously, you just hop on Netflix and browse movies for, like, two hours and then ultimately eat a pint of ice cream and go to bed upset with yourself. Don't even watch any movies. But back in the day, you would you would have to decide, okay, it's Friday night. We're going to we're gonna go to Blockbuster. And then you're going to be like, oh, God, it's going to be busy. Like, are you sure we should be going? Like, oh, God, it's so busy. It's like, what else are we going to do? Good point. Let's go. So you go to Blockbuster and it's packed. And you're like, oh, I, maybe we can watch, uh, I don't know, Mighty Ducks 3 or something. It just released Mighty Ducks 3. Let's get that. And you go in, you're all pumped. Oh, weird. They only had like, they only had like five copies of Mighty Ducks 3. And they're all gone. So you can't even rent Mighty Ducks 3 now. And so you're like, okay, what else are we going to watch? So you go to like, then you start going through the... 
then you start going through the um like genre aisles like okay maybe we'll watch like a thriller and you're just like looking at the cover of every movie thinking okay that might be cool but kind of looks crap honestly and you're literally judging a movie by the cover if the cover was good then you'd be like okay let's read the back and then you read the back you're like eh, God, i don't know and then you're just mad because you can't rent mighty ducks 3 and you eventually settle on like something you've seen about 10 times but you rent it again anyways and if you want to go real old school we're talking we're talking vhs okay and blockbuster would have like the please be kind rewind sticker on there and if you didn't rewind it they would charge you i think a dollar if you brought back a movie that was not rewound so then like when you had to return the movie everyone's panicking your dad's like did you rewind the movie no last time i went there christopher i had like 35 dollars in late fees and, and rewinds yeah dad i rewound the movie didn't rewind it yeah it's just drenched in late fees constantly poor guy <laughs> poor guy warning 30 seconds of oxygen how old am i i'm thir i'm 36. i turned 36 in december i'm old af yeah i'm like going out to this super far crop here i don't need that Also, I had to rewind the DVDs. Yeah, that was... When DVDs came out, that was pretty... Like, it was... Hard to wrap your head around. How does this work? Okay, these are the glitched ones right by the base. Let's go clear out these last ones, and then we're good. I'm a Decemberist, too. Noise. Yeah, December babies are cool. Uh, I'm December 30th. So I'm like five days after Christmas. Always got scammed on presents, but you know what? As you get older, you don't care. But uh, it messed up my kindergarten a little bit because when I started, I started, I was super young. I was like the youngest kid in kindergarten. And then I did French immersion and they were like, okay, so you can keep going to grade one, but he's going to continue to be like one of the youngest kids in class all the time forever. Or you can do kindergarten again and uh, he'll be one of the older kids. So, for whatever reason, my parents decided <laughs> French immersion. He'll never need that. There's no way he'll ever live in a French province. He's going to live in Saskatchewan forever. Let's put him in English. And that's what happened. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Absolute bummerville that my parents could not predict the future like whose parents can't predict the future come on just kidding they did their best warning 30 <laughs> just seconds of oxygen remaining just we and bon banam something like that right you're a french immersion child oh that's cool yeah i i mean hindsight's 2020 in this case it's like so obvious that being in French immersion would have been amazing for me, but how could you, how could you know, you know, you couldn't know, you couldn't know. Okay. Let me unpin these suckers. Uh, we're going to go in, we're going to build a couple torpedoes because like, I got to see what those do, obviously. And then we're going to finish that, that other part of our base. We're going to connect it. Captain. We're going to connect it with a uh, ladder that's cool okay let's go um vortex torpedo power restored all primary systems online what's up with my power what's up with my thermal my thermal vent not venting you know what let's go add a second thermal vent down there and uh i'll try to follow it it's down here on fire. I'm gonna die. 
I thought it would I would just get that singe. <laughs> I thought it would just get that little, you know, singe that I'm used to. Uh I stayed there and got roasted. Got roasted. Love it. Just a little sizzle. At least I know where all my gear is going to be. Oh, look, I, I... Oh, I didn't quite get the build fit. Okay. Learning. Learning is good. I want... I wonder, can this... Does this even work? Because I don't see any uh, connections. I still have my lead. Does this... Can I only use, like, one of these per hole? Are there blueprints for the armored suit? Uh, yes. We have that armored suit somewhere. I think it's in the truck. I think it's in the truck. Oh, so I also... Okay, okay. So I also have to build another transmitter. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're getting all crisscrossed here. Speaking of crisscross... I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay. I mean, that looks like maybe... No. No. I needed to be on that other one. Just fighting the lava steam here. No big deal. <laughs> sure, that's totally logical. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm not going to die again. It's impossible. Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, you guys immediately jumped on crisscross, didn't you? Didn't you? Um, There was a point in time where, like, wearing your clothes backwards was cool. I think I was in grade four. And there was a dance and everything. There was a dance and everything. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go on Spotify and just Google crisscross with K's. Don't use C's like a noob. Uh, and try it out. Crisscross. The song is called, I think, Jump Jump. Very eloquent. Oh, I could have just deleted the existing one. Okay, good to know. I deleted more. I'm a rebel like that. All right, let me offload this stuff. And then we could probably go and build. I feel like we're going to be out of lead uh, very quick, but I don't remember what everything needs. So if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. That's part of life under the sea. Titanium as well. Pretty, pretty weak showing. But we do have our quantum locker we need to unload. My creature eggs could go in here. Uh, my cold suit helmet I could put on the truck. My torpedoes I could put in the prawn suit probably. And uh, let's change my batteries here. All right. We don't talk about that historic era anymore. What do you mean? That's what that's what I grew up on, man. Crisscross, you got some Hansen. You guys remember Hansen? Uh, how did their song go? Oh yeah, Mbop. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's going to be in my head for probably 3 weeks. 1 week for each Hansen brother. Uh yeah, that's going to be rough. Mbop. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Uh, you're. It's going to be a while until that gets out of your head now. My bad. 
Okay, we got torpedoes, we got arms. <laughs> Close so baggy you couldn't run. Oh, that's, yeah. That's another thing. Baggy jeans were, like, super cool. And if you saw some old photos... I should try to get my mom to send me some. I'm sure she has some somewhere. Um, but there are some old clothes. Here's our dive suit, by the way. Um, that are... Embarrassingly baggy. Like, I can't even believe it's a real thing. Baggy. Okay, I need to do something here. God, I, I just... Oh, God. Okay, let me take all this stuff out of here. I'll, um... I'll just put this thing in storage somewhere that I probably don't have space for. It's possible. Take our nutrient block and just eat that, I guess. Boom. Okay. This is where the snow fox thing is. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Yeah. Um. These Preston's Delights were a total ripoff. Total ripoff. Storm in there, because why not? Take this. Take this all back to base. Quantum lockers. Good. I feel like we're going to be short on titanium. To fill, finish our builds. So I might need to go s smash some more things. You guys mind? I'll just smash anything I can find too. Running into that Leviathan on Saturday was actually pretty cool. That was the coolest moment so far. Actually... The moment when we met um, Marguerite, when she kind of, uh, let's say, approached us in her own prawn suit there, that was pretty cool, too, because it was very unexpected to see another human. Not used to that from these games. <clears throat> Backstreet Boys? Yeah, I was in the Backstreet Boys era. It was uh, Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. That was the competition. And then it, well, I, it was uh, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. All those. And they were like young. Like Britney Spears was like young. Her story, I don't know if you guys have seen the, uh, the documentary. The Britney documentary. But holy smokes, is it ever sad. How, like, her dad has full... I can't remember what the word is, but there's some type of uh, legal control that he has over her and all of her money and her basically every decision goes through him. It's bad. It's, and it's sad. And she's so effed up. And I don't think it's her fault. That's the worst part. She is, like, super... Super effed up because of all of this. Yeah, it's, a, it's Bummerville for sure. Not not power of attorney. Conservatorship. Conservatorship is what it's called. Yeah. Conservatorship. So if you want to see something totally wonky that you can do with... Uh, I don't know if, how it works in other countries, but in the U.S. legal system... Google a conservatorship. You'll probably first articles will be about Brittany. And uh that's aft. There's totally good reasons for them. Uh when they're used appropriately. I think it's usually for um older people when they reach a certain age and they're no longer in control of their functions and stuff. You know, like me. Ram has a conservatorship on me for age. But yeah, it's really sad. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, 
The Black Mirror episode with Miley Cyrus is basically about Britney. Yeah, I could see that. Man, I love Black Mirror. I'm I'm due for another Black Mirror release. I just I just started watching the second season of uh, Love, Death, and Robots the other day, and um, the first episode like had a uh, had this this dog in it that Walter like is going crazy about. So I couldn't watch it. I had to stop because Walter could not handle the other dog on the screen. We had to shut that down. But I really would like to watch it. The first season was phenomenal. Okay, do I have enough? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go back and we'll start building. Go listen to REM? Not so much, Neko. No, no. Never been a huge fan. Never been a huge fan. Your friend helped animate one of those episodes? That's cool. I was going to say, the, the style... I don't know what the other episodes are like, but the first episode from the five minutes that I saw was really cool. Like, no, I don't, I can't compare it to anything I've ever seen before. The, like, body proportions were all strange and stuff, but, like, yeah, super quirky, very whimsical, but, like, dark. I loved it. It's my exact, like, kind of Tim Burton-y, but not, like, you know, not full Tim Burton. It was neat. I've Akane, I've heard that. I've heard that people weren't stoked on second season, so I'm, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm still going to watch it, but uh, yeah, I'm watching it knowing that it's probably not as good as the first. Okay, we're going up to this secondary platform here. That we're going to probably connect, well, <laughs> down here somewhere. I probably have to remove the water filtration machine. Welcome Which we were going to put in the other place anyway. Hey, nice. Nice. It's funny. Like, you technically... This, in my opinion, this plant right here, the, uh, the pepper... This little slimy pepper. This kind of has ruined the need for anything like this. You don't even need this. You can just slam these peppers. And you'll be laughing. Okay, I'll, I'll delete the rest of this after. Oh, I can't because I need to get in here. Uh, that's fine. Let me go drop all this stuff. Or let's do something even... Let's do something even lazier. Have I gotten the blueprint for still suit? What do you mean? What's a still suit? I'm going to guess no. Because I don't know what a still suit is. Okay. So, let's do this. And then, oh yeah, we're going to need some hull strength, which is where the lead's going to go. But that's fine. I could probably do one up here. Okay. And then I need uh, one of these connectors. And then we need to come out of here. We're going to do a, a curved glass compartment. I really wish I could see this. This will be the longest ladder ever. And then, do I need another curve here?
And then probably what? Like, uh... Could I just glass tube this? No! I knew it. I knew I was gonna run out. Okay. What if I just regular tube this? Okay, we are connected. We are connected. Oxygen. Oh, you can't go up from glass anyway. Oh, okay. Well, that's good then. Boom. And now we're up here. Already glass domed and everything. Um, okay. So up here we were going to build... Structural support and prevents flooding. Oh, hell yeah, I'll add this. No! <laughs> Titanium, I guarantee it. Well, that sucks. Okay. We were, first thing we need to do, I think we want to get this alien containment, but I don't think I have the... Uh, the glass. So that's another trip we need to make. Um, also want to put in like a nuclear reactor here, but I don't think I have any of this stuff. Yeah, I need titanium. I need glass. And that's pretty much it. Is there... What's the absolute easiest way to get a buttload of titanium? If one... If somebody wanted that. Maybe, oh, yeah. We could take the... We could take the prawn out. That's true. That's true. Uh, I wonder if we should just go back down to that mining site. Can you detect full-on... Um, like, mining chunks through here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Fragment scans? Yeah, that's a good idea for the titanium. Console command. <laughs> uh, scrap metal around the wrecks. Yeah, we did a scrap metal search. We only got two pings. We could do some, we could do some fragments, I guess. That'll handle the titanium, and then I can just grab any, like, quartz that I see. What's the pangling research around here? I'm not sure, actually. We could check it, but... It's not my, it's not my top priority at this moment. Okay, so west-northwest. Let's go. Let's take the truck. Let's, we're going to take the truck over. Uh, this, this will be, like, our first time actually using the truck wherever it is. Where is it? Oh, there. <laughs> it's going to be our first time using the truck with uh, the prawn suit attached and all of our new modules. Let's ride. Oh, did you want me to remind you to read the hope entry? Yes. So there was a there was an entry that we got. I'm gonna have to find it here. Um, it was a it was a poem or something, and I and I didn't read it because I thought that they had read it to us, but I guess there was more to it. Uh, do we know what section that's under? Memos, maybe. Marguerite, no. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's my opinion on Sub Zero uh, or Subnautica Below Zero so far? I really like all the new stuff that they added. I think that part's super cool. Um, oh, it's under research. Okay. Hold on. I'll, I'll catch you in a second. It's under research. 
You sure? That seems like a weird place for it to be. It was from Alan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it might even be in here. Nope. Alan added it. Alan thought it was a bird? What? <laughs> of course Alan thought it was a bird. If anybody knows where it is, it'll be under fauna, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Got it. It's under other. Okay. <clears throat> Ignore the fragments in the background. Pope is an animal of unknown origin. According to Robin and a poet named Emily Dickinson, it is described as having feathers. My database found the poem Robin was referring to. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard. And sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I'd heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity or extremity. It asked a crumb of me. The presence of hope seems to inspire humans to persevere in the face of adversity. Perhaps humans keep a hope with them at all times. From this notation, hope appears to be a hardy avian creature. It is capable of surviving at sea and in cold climates, having kept so many warm, hope might be observed to produce exothermic chemical reactions. Assessment, find and maintain hope. That's pretty cute, actually. Uh, feel bad for Alan. Not gonna lie. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, sorry. So anyways, to answer the other question about, um, how we feel about this compared to the first one, I would say, I would say I probably enjoyed the first one more only because I'd never played anything like it. You know, now playing the second one, you kind of get to know, like, you know what, what you're in for in a sense. Um, and so there's less surprises, I would say. I also prefer, I know I'm going to need some of these clusters, actually. I also prefer, um, all the water stuff versus being on land at all. You know, this is this is where it's most this is where it's coolest, in my opinion. The land stuff is fine, but this is where it's best. So I would say uh, on the whole I probably enjoyed one more, but this one's a lot more polished and there's more stuff, which is cool. I liked what they did with the um with the sea truck and adding all these modules instead of having multiple different vehicles. <laughs> this thing but it's a little heavy. Also, I'm going to need to... Um, I'm going to need to put some new power cells in this sucker.
Yeah, this has actually been a pretty quick way to... to get some titanium. I do have to, like... I do have to keep my eye out for... quartz. Mind you, if we do a separate scan for quartz, we'll probably be okay. There's usually quite a bit near our base. Jeez, look at this. We've hit like a fragment mother load here. It's awesome. Could be hitting these two, but I don't want to pick up any extras of stuff that we already have. Yeah, we could be making an ion battery. Definitely. Good points. You know what, though? We haven't needed to swap bat batteries very frequently in our vehicles. I think we've swapped it maybe twice in like 25 hours. So it's not so bad. But Ion would basically negate all of that. So might be worth doing when we get back. Damn, yeah, full inventory now. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Can I do 150 meters in 24 seconds? 21 seconds? I better go up. Yeah, that's true, actually. We do need... There is still an ultra-high capacity tank. I feel like we probably won't find that fragment. Unless we go a little deeper. We've seen this, right? Yeah, we have. But yeah, that's a good point. That's a great point. All right. Let's go drop off our titanium at home base. AKA the Peaver Cavern. Just go to the broken ship with your sea truck and get scrap metal. Yeah, it's a good option too. But we did have a lot of fragments, so. A bunch of different ways to do it. I think we're good on titanium now. Uh, we'll do a quartz scan and go and gather that. I highly doubt I'm going to find any of those quartz uh, drillables this close to the surface. So we'll just do it manually. Just rubbing up against my own base. It's the worst that could happen. Feel there's too much land action in this one? Yeah, I mean there's definitely it was a there's been a solid amount of it. That's for sure. This actually serves as a cool little like uh parking area. Unintentionally. Oh, you know what I'm going to do?
No, tell us. Okay, I will. I'm going to take this uh, apart. Oh, that's not what I wanted even. Wait, what? Pilot fabricator module. That wasn't the plan, but this is good. I'm just going to take this and we'll recharge for a bit while we organize and build. Welcome aboard, Captain. Do you have a moon pool? Yes. Uh, yes, we do. We are currently in it. Um, let me dump all of this. I'll empty the locker. Okay. Now we need to turn to quartz. I, and I think that'll be the last thing that we're, like, really struggling on to build the stuff that we want. Ping me. Ali's saying a bunch of the land gear hovercraft is only really useful when you know you need it before you start. By the time you play long enough to know you need it, you've already done the island. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like that one is a bit out of place for sure. Oh my god. 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 I was wrong. We found a drillable quartz. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I found was kind of like that was um was when we were on that cold island and like you, you can totally survive without um well, captain. without the need for the cold suit the cold suit would have made it way easier obviously but it was more than doable without and that kind of felt like that same vibe where you didn't need the gear I kind of I wish they would have maybe made the the cold a little bit more aggressive in that sense. Hey, odd, put some music on the jukebox. Someone's not watching the videos, Traveler in Time. We have the best tunes on there. We just haven't been playing it today. We got Mario. Uh, Uncharted music, we have BFG Division, and other great hits. It's just saying. Drilling ASMR, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, another one? That's so lucky. I didn't think we would fun see anything like this. Throw some Britney in there. I only threw in uh, video game music because I didn't want to worry about um, copyright claims. Hey, what's up, Dodo? What game is this, Connor? This is uh, Subnautica Below Zero. It's a survival, exploration, base builder. Uh, that would be the best way to describe it, I think. 
unpin the penis on the right? Why, does that make you uncomfortable that that rocket resembles a, a penis in your mind? That's weird. That's weird. I would never look at that rocket and be like, oh, that's a penis. <laughs> I, which is weird, because I'm like a 12-year-old brain. Underwater Minecraft. That's not a bad description. Can I even... Can I even get that thing? I mean, I could do it the old-fashioned way, I guess. Now I got that big grappler. <laughs> now, now it looks like that for everybody. Oh, we've ruined it. Come on, give me a quartz chunk. This is deep. This is good. This is a good sign. Yeah, deeper. Oh no. Oh, it looks tiny. Yeah, it's a baby quartz. That alien uh, containment, I want to say, took like five enameled glass or something. So we might need a lot of this. Hey, History Chick, what's up? Finally made it back to the chat after watching the live stream later. So good to be here. So good to have you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you caught up. <laughs> Kaz. <laughs> That thing wouldn't dare attack me. Maybe it would. Well, that's awkward. So how was the stream today? Well, pretty good. We uh, collected lithium, and then we collected lead, and then we connect collected titanium, and then we collected quartz. That's cool. What'd you do with all that stuff? Uh, nothing. We ran out of time. Oh, cool. Yeah, it sounds like a great stream. Not gonna lie, I actually super enjoy this. This is very, this is very, uh, uh, and mentally soothing for me. I woke up this morning, I had all these big plans of stuff I was gonna do before the stream. Uh, I didn't do any of them. And I ended up watching, uh, motorcycle videos for two hours. Is that bad? So that put me into a very zen-like uh, state, which I've maintained by simply mining. All while trying to ignore chat talking about penises. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to ignore it actually. Uh, fully embrace the rocket penis look like. Fully fine.
For some reason, I thought I had a hell of a lot more, but I guess it's in here. That's not a bad haul. We're going to have to make do. All right. I really hope that that's everything that we need. I can just carry this with me, I suppose. Let's go upstairs and build. We'll finish the alien containment. Hopefully. Uh, can I finish the bulkhead door? I thought that was a cool idea. What? How come that's red now? It was green before. Who knows? An aquarium just for looks, or your own personal sushi factory. Yeah, baby. You decide. Yeah, baby. The silicone rubber is those creep fine clusters, is it not? Yeah, which I have. <clears throat> so we should be able to make that bulkhead door. Oh, there. <laughs> Weird. Now that's cool. So this gives plus three. Man, that's actually... We were at 0.5. That's pretty dangerous. I like a good bulkhead. What am I going to put in here? Oops. Do we put the... We put the creature eggs in here, do we not? How do I... How do I access it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, now we're talking. I'll go get some of those rods out of storage. <clears throat> oh, I need to build a hatch. Yeah, that's obvious. That makes... Yeah, yeah, for sure you'd build a hatch. Duh. Okay. So I could put those creature eggs in here and just see what happens. I think that's what I'm going to do. Anish donated 420. You're doing it wrong. God damn it. He strikes. He strikes again from the grave. All right, let me head back. We'll grab um, creature eggs. And we'll grab reactor rods. <laughs> Anish strikes again. Oh, here's the tunes, by the way. just stops the tunes there for no reason. Okay. Creatures. Been saving you for this very moment. Uh, reactor rod. Boom. I know I have more. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, that'll do. Oh, I definitely got to put some speakers in here. Ugh! What's with the... What's... What's with the floating speaker tech? Oh, now I can't even... I can't even get rid of it because my inventory is full. Okay, well, we'll handle it later. Oh, this is nice. So the door can actually stay open and still provide the support. Oh, that's cool.
Well, hopefully these things turn into nice little creatures. These guys are probably going to be those those uh, donut fish. I saw something about a sea monkey egg. Yeah. Don't know what those are going to be. Don't know what that's going to be. What's up, dickless? <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the join, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> thanks, man. I know I missed somebody else too. Uh, Dylan Nesman, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, Big Money, 1986, two years younger than me, became a member. Thanks for that. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. We can build nuclear waste over here. That's a that's a good idea. Uh, the Recyclatron, you mean? Or wait. No, I think you actually mean nuclear waste disposal. It's massive. It's not massive. It's, in fact, quite small and below average in size. I'm just reciting what I heard all throughout high school. It has nothing to do with this. Okay, let's load up this reactor. Boom, 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 boom. Now, if this doesn't keep me powered for a very long time, I'm going to be choked. You know, the fact that this doesn't, like, even with snapping, you can't get to the direct center of these. You have to go manual control. Okay. How long until these fish start hatching? Probably be a while. So we have the reactor up here. Oh, I want to get the water station going. Water filtration. Over here. Okay. Uh, we're only at... We're pretty low on the hull strength, so... Maybe I'll... I kind of want to do a window there. Let's do one here. I'm doing this for my pet fish so that they have they have a lot to look at. There we go. Now now they'll grow even faster because it looks they feel as if they're in their natural habitat. You know what I'm saying? Dickless again. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Probably because we were talking about dicks earlier. Uh, thanks for the super chat. Long time enjoy of your content since Ori in the Blind Forest. Sad you never finished part two. I knew it was coming. <sighs> uh, happy for everything else you did since then. Thanks, man. Thanks. Biomutant almost became the next Ori in the Blind Forest. It almost didn't, isn't going to get completed, but I'm going to push through. I'm going to finish Biomutant. I'm going to finish it. Uh, what can I do to decorate in here? We could throw in some plants. I really like these. These are really cool. In this center? Yes, it can. Do we go high? Or do we go medium? Or do we go low? It's hmm. a tough call. I think we go medium. If the plants were longer, I'd say maybe go high. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Let's get the jukebox going in here for the fish. Once again, accelerate their growth. Just pumping Super Mario in here 
24 hours a day. No! Check it out. This is not a bad pad. This is not a bad pad at all. Can you guys think of anything else that I would benefit from in here? I don't even really need a power cell charger because it, we can just charge the, the vehicle itself. Um, oh. Oh, we need like a kitchen. Oh yeah, that's right. We need a kitchen. I'm going to build that in here though. with the parts that I probably don't have. Uh, where's that fridge? Let's start with a, maybe a counter. That can kind of be our, our starting point. So you come outside, boom, fridge. Or or maybe we just do like a corner, like a corner uh, kitchen here, you know? Oh, we got some Mass Effect tunes happening like that. Awkward. It's the frickin' titanium. Yo. Calorie intake recommended. Does anybody know how to just uh console command some titanium in here? How we how we feeling about a bathroom? Yeah, uh, uh, that's next. Definitely. Like, I feel like I could go and get the titanium, but, like, I don't think anyone's going to be too upset if I just don't. <laughs> My God. Daniel, thanks for the super chat, man. Can I suggest some Witcher 3 music for the jukebox? That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Seek fluid intake. I'm pretty sure we got most of the titanium in the mines when we went, didn't we? I'm pretty confident. Vital signs stabilizing. I'm going to lose the achievements? Oh my god. Well, why am I even playing then? No I don't want to lose the achievements. I'll, I'm going to go mine it. There's something that feels weird about about console commanding stuff, you know? Like, I get it. I'm I'm kind of the same way. I'm just being I'm just being lazy. I'm just being lazy. But we'll go we'll go mine it the old fashioned way. Back it up. Oh, a little off there. I feel like that was pretty good. How do I, uh... No fun. <laughs> no fun. How do I, uh... Oh boy. It's gonna have to get good. There's no rear views. Wait. What the f <gasps> Wait, what? What is happening? Hold up. I, th I think something actually broke. That's probably not good for the structural integrity. What the f Oh no.
I think it I think it legitimately broke. I didn't know that was a thing. Did not know. So what are we missing? We're probably missing the two. We, we're definitely missing the, the prawn grabber. And uh, probably the, the sleeping thing. Docking and sleeping. I need so much titanium. Oh my god. What a freaking nightmare. Let's see if I can get it off of this rock. Okay. Well, that's a new one. That is a new one. Okay. F. That really sucks. Okay, this is the sleeper module. This is the whatever. Here's the fabricator. Wait, am I missing two? We have the aquarium. We need the docking. We have fabricator. Oh, maybe storage? But I think that's what this is. So maybe I'm only missing one. <laughs> Cringing with Christopher. Am I missing two? Am I missing two modules, or am I missing one? Guess you never passed your sea truck license. Listen, listen, chat. I'm all I'm all for the sass, okay? But I'm a little sensitive right now. I just I just got well, comfortable enough to do a cringing with Christopher episode. Okay. And now you're going to need to go easy on me for a bit. Okay. I want to go west, I believe. Or just maybe straight down. To the mining area. Sent me back like uh, ten titanium. Which isn't the end of the world, but uh, it's annoying because we need titanium for the other stuff. Uh, Akane, is there any chance you'll play Green Hell? Thanks again for the super chat, man. Uh, with somebody, maybe? So, it's funny, actually, because uh, Green Hell's releasing on consoles right away. And uh, I'm not going to play it on console. But I have always wanted to play it. And uh, I've played maybe an hour. So I don't really know much about the game. And I think it would be fun to play. Yeah. So I might, yeah, I might try that. Biscuits, thanks for the super chat. Hey, found you, uh, found you while looking for a complete playthrough of Observation. Ooh, really enjoy your videos. I'm now working on your Days Gone playthrough. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I loved Observation. 
and I loved Days Gone. And uh, honestly, I really want to find an excuse to play the PC version of Days Gone. Like I really do. Um, I might just fire it up on my own or like maybe some random stream or something. I don't know. If I... Okay, chat, I'm going to tell you something. So people that are here, this is very important. I want you to listen. Because it's going to happen at some point and I don't want people to freak out, okay? So at some point in time, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but at some point... I am going to turn on my stream. There will not be a face cam. I might not even talk. Maybe. We'll see. See how I'm feeling in the moment. And uh, I'm just going to play a game. Okay. I'm just going to play a game. I, I might talk to chat. I might not. I don't know. But I might just do that for my own purposes, okay? And maybe that's where I could do something like uh, Days Gone on PC, like something I've already played. It would just be random. Man, there's tons of nuggets out here. They're just not what I need. Look at all the quartz. Yeah, so basically just playing a game like a normal person. Yep. Exactly. Just reload the game? Nah, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. I mean, I had to... I had to get... Um, I had to get titanium anyways. So... Not that big of a deal. Okay, where is... There's our base. I, I'm pretty sure the fire robotics, or the, sorry, the mining area is like right below our base. So I should head back. See if we can find some titanium logs. Actually, I could be I could be scanning for titanium too. I don't know why I'm not. Do it with one of those artistic, beautiful games like Journey. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Mal, thanks for the donation. Says for the sea truck repair fund. Uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate the. I'm getting effed up by this guy behind me here. might even be like right below me but I don't recall I'm gonna turn on my uh, Delta dock maybe it's on this side of my base actually that's possible Thermal protection on here. We're laughing. This is not. This is not where I want to be, you guys. 
trust. It should just be off the off the coast of Delta Station Dock, right? Jeez. Uh Rally Cat, thanks for the super chat. Really late fee. Keep on trucking, but only in an Anish compliant C truck. Man, my timing is perfect. <laughs> is that when I blew up the modules? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good timing. Good job. Good job, Cat. Great. Thanks. Great. Phenomenal. Check the map, maybe? No, I know it's I know it's west. The map isn't gonna help me here. Okay, so here's the dock. Here's the island. It should be like, uh, basically straight down. Or whenever the drop hits over here. Down here. It's actually kind of hard to, to navigate in the prawn suit because you can't look straight down. I better check now because now I'm now I'm second guessing myself. Uh okay, it's like more southwest. It's more southwest. If I hit the vines, have I come too far? There's the jellies. I feel like the jellies are too far. I don't I don't know. Like 200 meters, yeah. Did you lower the upload bitrate? No. No, it's still the exact same. I haven't changed anything. Well, I'm definitely too far from Delta, I think. Oh, wait. Have I... Have I beaconed it? It's a good question. That is a good question. I don't think I have, but I should. Purple Snurple, thanks for the super chat. Sea truck repair. <laughs> Thank you, man. Akinai, thanks for the super chat. Actually, there's a pretty big movement with Days Gone regarding canceled sequel, and there's still hope in community, so that's your excuse. True. I could do, uh, I could do, uh, streaming days gone until, until, uh, until a sequel is approved. Stream. And I'll stream for 30 days straight, no breaks. When we went to mine that one time, we found it, like, immediately. Okay. So, this is Delta... This is Delta Island, right? This is Delta Island. We want to go here, which is clearly southwest. And, like, I'm pretty sure our base is right on it. But I, I can't find... Oh, maybe it's just right here. God, I just can't look down. You can see the entrance, though. That's the thing. See, here's my base. Watch this right here. 
Hold on, I do have a dropped beacon down here. Oh, but I think this is where I got fried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got fried there. See, but then I hit the jellies again. I feel like I'm... I wonder if I... I probably passed it. I'm just not seeing it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Found it. Got it. Now I just need to hope that there's more titanium to mine down here. I think we'll probably see some in that, like, uh, lobster pit. I don't know if it respawns or how that works, but... Mm, fresh lobster. Yum. I'm doing that to feed all the smaller fish in here. It's only fair. Okay, so we've got, like, Ruby up on that thing. Pretty sure all of this is going to be clear. I'm just balancing out the, uh... What do you call it? The ecosystem. I got a baby, a baby nug here. Not bad. Dickless with the super chat uh, from Anish. You can dock your sea truck in the moon pool without manually disconnecting your modules. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that. How does that work? Like, what are the physics behind it? Because if you can't explain that, then, I mean... Oh, here we go, baby. There we go. Oh, that's a big one. Soren, thank you for the super chat as well, man. Uh, hi, Chris. Simple question. Are you excited for the upcoming God of War? Are you going to play through it on stream, or is it a simple walkthrough? Um... It would be probably uh, like a let's play, like pre-recorded, I think. Yeah, and of course, I loved the first one. That was like some of the most enjoyable combat ever. It auto disconnects. Oh, I didn't know that. That's really cool. Why am I not using the grappling hook when moving around? Um, I disconnected it because I was picking up a bunch of individual rocks. So it's currently in storage. Okay. 
Akinai, thanks for the super chat. Is there a goal for a thousand channel members? Could be best moments from XCOM talking about expectations for third game. I would, I would love to talk about XCOM 3. But like, I feel like if we talk about it, we're going to jinx it, you know? I don't have a, I don't have a goal yet, uh, but I'm open to suggestions. I also know, I know that a thousand members is like a very lofty, very lofty goal. So, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Looking forward to Far Cry 6. You know, I never really got into Far Cry. So, not really. What's cool is it's it's a new game that is releasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just so little news about stuff happening. empty this and then we can keep drilling well thank you see anish still respects his captain that's good okay i need to find another vein like that titan whole fish egg crypto suck his egg okay i think our baby's hatched gold. Never thought that day would come. Nah, don't need gold. Just need titanium. Here we go. This should be enough to fill us. They'll announce at least three new games at E3. When is E3 scheduled for, by the way? I feel like... Look. If there's any place where they're going to announce XCOM, that would be... Like, XCOM 3. That would be a decent place to do it. And I feel like they've kept such a... Such a tight cover on it. Because they're going to announce it when they know it's ready. They've seen, like, the Cyberpunks. They've seen all these other games announce a title or announce a release and then have to postpone it. I don't feel like Firaxis is... I don't feel like that's their jam. June 12th to 15th. Okay, cool. Are they doing a physical? Like, are people going to be going there? Is it all going to be... Uh, is it all going to be online? Fluid intake. Digital. I wish more companies operated like Firaxis where... Oh, we're, we are maxed, guys. Let's go home. Let's go home. If I run out of titanium now, it's too bad. <laughs> it's too bad. So excited for Horizon Forbidden West. Okay, I've seen some internet, some tw you guys want to talk about some internet drama? What's going on with the people talking about how uh, Alloy looks different or something? And like, what is that? Is that all a meme or is that real or what's going on there? I kind of missed the memo that on that. And there's, there's definitely a lot of chatter. What the? Yeah. 
she looks less feminine? What? That's the thing? She looks Scottish. Looks older. Man, people are idiots. <laughs> oh my god. That's what the hubbub is about? Is that she looks less feminine? She's fighting freaking robot dinosaurs. What does her looking feminine have anything to do with it? I don't get it. Oh, nice pull. Okay, it's 180... It's 160 meters south of our base. I wonder if this broken sea truck thing will ever disappear. Has it been nighttime the entire stream? Holy smokes. Just give me some normal weather. Oh no. What am I missing? I have the lead. The internet will never never chill. Seriously, the internet. Is fucking... I don't even. I don't even want to get into it because the internet is never chill. You know what I'm saying? It's unbelievable. Um. Okay. So let me check this out. Figure out what I'm missing. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're missing lithium. Are you kidding me right now? What can I recycle to get lithium? Anything? God. It's so insane. It's insane. The amount of stuff I need all the time is wild. There's a woke agenda to destroy femininity in popular culture. But okay, sure, gamers suck. I don't think it's just gamers at all. A at all. I wish it was. <laughs> I wish it was just gamers. It's not where I want to be. Man, we, we really, like, leaned hard into that, uh... Into the whole gathering resources stream. Holy smokes. Vital signs stabilizing. That's a cool little uh, mixture we got going on. Oh, we even got one of those baby psychos. Two of them. That's sweet. That's very cool. <laughs> Take me back to the good old days of innocent cringe odd. Seriously. If we, could, if we could all be so lucky, you know? Um, Hold on. Let me put this here. Oh, <laughs> 
Sorry. What the frick is that though? Okay. Well, I uh, hate to say it, guys, but... Uh... <laughs> I need to get lithium. What are you gonna do? That's that's part of the it's part of the game. It's part of the part of the game. and Walty update uh they're doing pretty good um dex is getting pretty slow in his old age he's uh he's definitely like limping a lot more than he used to oh look how close this is <laughs> that's hilarious he's definitely limping a lot more no Um, he also seems to be groaning a lot. Like, he's definitely got some pain situation going on. Uh, which isn't, you know, I mean, he's still moving and stuff, but he definitely takes his time. He's very slow. Uh, one thing we notice is at night when he sleeps, so he sleeps in our room. But he moves his position every, like, no joke, 15 to 30 minutes. Like, he moves all night. He's always moving. Never lays in one spot for more than 30 minutes. And uh, we think he's, like, uncomfortable. He'll make, like, these little groaning sounds and stuff. It's really, like, it's sad. So next time we're at the vet, we're going to ask her uh, if there's anything we should be doing about that. Um, but other than that, like, he still, he still is, like, I mean, he doesn't really play a lot because he's kind of slow moving, but every once in a while, we'll take him outside. I mostly carry him up and down the stairs now. Um, when we come down to the basement, I'll carry him because they're, like, wood stairs and they're kind of slippy and, you know, I don't want him to feel uncomfortable or that he has to keep up because like Walter just like doo -doo -doo -doo, gone right and then Dex is like oh I can do that not so much um so yeah he's doing but he's still doing okay I don't want to make it like doom and gloom he's still doing okay but he's you know he's a ten and a half year old bulldog English bulldog and you know their lifespans are generally like eight to ten and he's at ten so um, yeah you know that's Dexter uh Walter's doing pretty good since he came back from his uh training stuff it's mostly us that have changed a lot of our um like our lifestyle to accommodate to accommodate Walter because he's he's just a needy dog. He's got a lot more going on than than most dogs, in my experience. Uh, he definitely needs like he needs that morning walk or play session or whatever, just to kind of instill some some calm and relieve some of that anxiety and stress that he for some reason <laughs> has. Uh, but well, he's really good. Like he's trying, he's trying really hard to like keep up his little good dog behaviors. Uh, we do have, 
we do have one concern with him health-wise. Uh, over the past, like, eight weeks, he's kind of developed this little... This small bump. It's hard to describe, uh, but a very small little hard exterior bump. And... Uh, yeah, so that's a little bit of a concern, but I, I think it's probably going to end up just being nothing, I hope. So we're going to we're going to take him in next week and uh, just get their opinion on it and go from there. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, so those are the updates. But other than those things, like everything's everything's fine. So yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, you're 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 freaking joking me. What am I missing? I, am I missing? stuff to make um, advanced wiring, maybe? Oh, boy. So I have silver. Do I not have enough for copper wire? <laughs> That's what it is. I'm missing... I'm missing... I'm missing copper. I'm missing copper, and we we could have got some too. And I was like, "Oh, we don't need we don't need copper." F. <laughs> it never ends. Never ends. I don't need a ton of it, so I'm just gonna find the right. Thing. Uh, oh, let's see if I can just ping this. One sec. I bet you this takes me right back down into mining. Pretty far. What's the outcrop that has um, copper in it? Doesn't show in this one? Ah, here we go. Silver, Calivarite, Elena, Limestone. I only need a few of these. Shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> uh, blowing that up was a little bit of a bigger setback than I anticipated. Whoops. Did I do that? That's probably too old of a reference for you, young whippersnappers. I think we're set for coral, actually. I don't think coral's the issue. We just need a few copper pieces, which we'll totally, you know, get sometime soon. Steve Urkel, don't even test me. <laughs> Sniff, I feel like you're offended. I feel like you're actually offended. Oh, this is the glitched one. Love it. Also glitched. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool, 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 cool. cool. Super cool. Something that you expected me to say in Half-Life. Blotzy, I think you got a little too much enjoyment out of the cringe episode, didn't you? I think you enjoyed that so much. Probably couldn't even sleep. Too excited. Like, I can't wait for 10 years when we do another one of those. Yeah, I got a bunch happening down there. What's funny is we really only wanted this module to take the prawn suit with us to so that we could Warning. 30 seconds so that we could mine remaining. titanium, which we've already done. So now I really just need to I really just need it to have the complete truck. It's kind of goofy if you think about it. 
graphics. Hey, man. I was excited, okay? I was trying new stuff. There we go. That's a ding ding. Come on! So many glitched chunks. Here we go. Come on now. Nope. I need I wanna take like at least two more here. One. This is it right here. I'm feeling it. See? I'll just get one more just in case. Weird. <laughs> Chat, I kind of feel... <laughs> kind of feel bad that we have quite literally... Not done a ton today. What time is it? Jesus. <sighs> yeah. What's this? Oh, hold on. Yeah! Okay, we're out of here. This is it. This is it. We be docking. drop silver are you planning on doing this for another 10 years i mean i'm gonna do this as long as i can uh totally why wouldn't i the thing that i've always thought about is like so Obviously, age kind of matters, but uh, the thing I've always thought about is like, my audience is always skewed older to, towards like similar to what I, to my own age, uh, YouTube demographics wise, like 70% of my audience is 25 to 34, I believe, which in YouTube audience terms is like old. <laughs> Cause uh, if I ask any of my other like, content creator buddies almost all of them skew like you know 12 to 12 to 20 kind of thing which Welcome is cool board, that's fine it's just different it's just very different so uh i have always thought like we'll kind of grow up together if that makes sense not in like the literal sense but okay th oh this is wall mounted is this wall mounted Okay, hold up. Not, no, it's not wall mounted. I'm gonna see if I can stick another counter in here. That might be weird, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, see, that's gonna be a bit awkward, hey? No. Don't like it. Okay, so this is as close as I can get it, I think. Mm. 
No. That's that will not do. That will not do. I think for a fridge, I'll put it in this corner. And then we'll move the counters over. Yeah, so anyways, I don't know if you wanted me to expand on that at all. Uh, but that's that's my thought process is like... I mean, I'll do this until... <laughs> I'll do this until I can't. I love doing it. I love gathering resources for two and a half hours in front of people. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I love it. It's an absolute amazing thing to do. Okay, hold on. What options do I got here? I got a sink. I've got a small stove. A shower, a fridge, a counter, a vending machine. I definitely need a trash can. Do I really want to have that right outside my room? Might be convenient. Might be convenient. It's not bad. I kind of like the open style of this kitchen. I don't know if I love this being tucked in the corner, though. It feels a bit strange. And I might try swapping these. But then having your fridge next to the garbage... I mean, this stuff's futuristic. I don't think there are going to be any, like, weird smells. And then, inevitably, when my food goes bad, uh, I can just take it straight from the fridge and chuck it. So, actually, it's great planning. Glad I came up with that. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We can have, like, a little... little bar table here. Should we give a swivel chair? I mean, why not? It's just me. Just me sitting here. Why not have the swivel? It's way more fun. Oh, God. It's not. It's off center. Uh-uh. It's a little far away. All right, it's gonna have to do. Maybe I can move the table in closer. I don't know if this is any different. Oh, it's definitely different. Okay. I'm, I'm into it. I'm into that. That's cool. That's cool. Let's get our little, uh, let's get our little stove going. That looks nice. Maybe I'll do a dual burner unit for when we have guests, which inevitably will never happen. Okay. And then what can I put over here? Oh. Yeah. Let's do this. A shelf. Oh, that's good. That's good. I don't want to have these. Well, do I want to have these under? Maybe. Maybe that is better. To be symmetrical like that. Ooh, can we do try? Try burners? This is using copper, isn't it? Just realized. <laughs> it definitely. It definitely is. If I need copper, then I'll come back. And I feel like if we had like a microwave or something, that would be cool to go in that corner. Um, 
do 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 Oh, the coffee machine! It's too big. You know what, though? You know what, though? You know what, though? Hold up. You look like you could use some coffee. 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 Yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah, this is not this is not bad. Uh this is probably a fire hazard. My phone just started playing TikToks. That's weird. That's good. That'll keep the, the eye. Oh, let me turn off this freaking scanner here. Playing bass guitar like that, guys, by the way, very hard. Very hard to do. Dude, I like our little kitchen here. This is cool. I still haven't figured out how to take this down. Can't just decontrol. Oh, I can now. Oh no. Okay, I'm doing this temporarily. Nice. Noise. This feels like a. Saturday Night Live intro. Sorry, I kind of forgot chat was here for a second. Sorry, guys, one second. All right, let me just finish this. in my own little world there for a second. Jeez. Uh, this one? Yeah, I like. I like. That's cool, man. That is cool. I like that. Uh, that's our kitchen. It's beautiful. It's simplistic. It has everything we need. Now we need a bathroom. 
Should I just do the bathroom opposite? Or should I do the bathroom like... The bathroom needs its own, it needs a partition. Definitely. Let me see what I can come up with partition-wise for a bathroom. Uh, here. Sorry. Uh, Dio, thanks for the super chat, man. Says you look like you could use some coffee. Do I? I've had two coffees today. Can you believe that? I'm not putting the poster back up. No, no, no. I wanted the poster down. We were going to put that somewhere else. Um... Oh, yeah, it has to go on these. Oh, yeah, it has to go on these. This might be awkward. Uh, let me think. How can I do this? Do I just do an open concept bathroom? I have an idea. Holy frick. I didn't realize this thing would be so massive. <laughs> See, I, <laughs> I kind of want to have a, a window outside where Anish can watch me shower. Don't you think? I think that'd be cool. The question is, how do I how do I close this room out? How do I how do I close this room? I need to keep this open so I can't I can't deconstruct that because that gets us up there. Uh, this I could ch I could remove. Uh... <laughs> I mean I'm the only one living here. I'm the only one living here. I can do whatever I want. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Maybe I should make a niche. Watch us, number two. weird. I could do an angled toilet, kind of like to mimic the, the feng shui of the bedroom. And plus, it's it's back is to us, so like if if somebody was in here, you'd just see their legs. You wouldn't see any like any of their berries and anything like that. Uh, oh, a sink. Oh, dishes. I forgot about cleanup. I did forget about cleanup. Oof. Uh, hmm. I just worry that this feels a little too cramped. <laughs> I don't know why this matters to me so much, but it does. Uh, that feels a bit cramped, but like, I get it. Like, you can still access this. You know, like, th this can still work. It just feels like... on this routine for a while here. Here it comes. This just really sets the mood for interior design, in my opinion. Just rage out in my room for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? The What bugs me the most about that is the sound. It swivels, because it's trying to like... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's annoying. Okay, I definitely... 
I think the bathroom's gonna need a uh, nuclear waste disposal. Absolutely. No question. So that's gonna go right here. For the nuclear waste. Uh, we could, I guess, do a sink. We could do the actually a sink up against the glass would be kind of cool. Can I get into the shower, kinda? That's as good as it can be. Oh wow. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, this is good. So we shower, clean ourselves. You know how you do that. And then after you use the toilet, you dispose of your nuclear waste over here. And then you come and wash your hands. I think this is, this is good. It's, def it's definitely, definitely open concept vibe. Maybe I can like, I have an idea. Needs to be scooched a bit. Oh, you're effing joking me. <laughs> I bet you I don't have titanium. Anyways, this kind of works. This kind of works. Now it's private. Now it's private. You should put aquarium as a wall. <laughs> Uh, that's not a bad idea. Aquarium or vending machines? Let's try it. Inventory is full. Oh my god. This makes it this makes it a, a great wall. Actually, hold up. This could actually be kind of cool. This might be awesome. <laughs> I think I think that was the right decision actually. I think we just leave this side open. Now I just need fish. Oh, I have just the place. We need inventory space. I have just, just the place. The ocean. New creature discovered. <laughs> That's cool. <clears throat> Is there a way I can clear up this uh, broken stuff? Oh, I bet you. Well, if I just if I take this stuff apart.
if I take this apart, I might not have enough integrity. So maybe we just leave this here as a reminder to never bash the truck again. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, let's do a, a good little mishmash here. Two, two. Okay, we have so many. Let's go three, three. Throw the penguin in there. Look, you can't even can't even tell. That's a bathroom, which is perfect. All right, I think we're set, guys. I think we have everything we need to live here. I think this is fine. Is there anything that we're missing at our base? Let me check. I think I have everything that I want. Um, I might if I can. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. There's something I'm looking for. There's something I'm looking for. I think I might know where it is. Uh, where is it? There's something very important that I'm looking for. There it is. This is really going to complete the whole look. Boom. I wish we could put up like a mirror. Hold on. Oh my god, it does it. That's awesome. I'm going to leave it blank like that so that it kind of looks like a mirror, you know? That ain't bad. That's not bad. I do feel like maybe the nuclear waste and the sink could be swapped. I know it might look like it's not practical, okay? But you get used to it. It's like just, you know, you get used to it. And then I could, I could maybe do this somewhere else. Oh my God. It's like almost perfect. Uh, maybe we'll put it on this side so there's more space. Guys, I'm pretty happy. Oh, we could try it. We could try a double sink. We could try a double sink. Get real fancy, like maybe we're expecting uh, a partner one day. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Awesome idea. Holy frick, you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. I sort of love it. I, I think it's I think it's great. I'm a little miffed that I can't do, like, true walls the way I want, but that's, you know, whatever. You, we live alone, so, like, whatever, right? I think, we're, I think we're done here. I think we can say that clearly, clearly, this is now a home. It's not a habitat anymore. This is, this is our home. And I'm happy with it. 
communications systems array active. Hate the ending. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. Sorry I missed you. Thanks for all your hard work, Chris. Been around since we happy few pre-release days and got lots of entertainment. Enjoy from your videos. Sending hugs to the pups. Thank you. Hate the ending. That's super generous. Thank you so much. Tim Wakiza, the legend. Thanks for the super chat. Oh, look, it's BFG division. I'm awake again. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And Andrew Milligan, thanks for the super chat. Been following since Portal 1 days. Was wondering if you could shout out my daughter. It's her 16th birthday. Name's Dakota. P.S. Thanks for all the content. Happy birthday, Dakota. Hopefully you can get your driver's license and always respect your parents. Uh, a dad is probably going to be very protective of his daughters. So you're just going to have to keep that in mind when he pisses you off. He's probably doing it for the right reasons. Probably. Happy birthday. Plant at the ends. Let's do composite. Well, I can like just maybe squeak it in here. Very finicky. Mm. Too cluttered now. I'm gonna leave it. I think it's good. I think it's good as it is. Oh yeah, we don't have a vending machine now. That's true. It's not like we need to have one of everything, but maybe I'll just put a vending machine here for snacks. Oh no! I'm out of I'm out of glass. No vending machine. Snacks are bad for you anyway. All right, guys, uh, we're done. We're done, and I'm very happy with the progress that we've made. Uh, we got our whole second deal done up here. Got our bathroom. We have our kitchen. Plants are growing at an incredibly rapid rate because of our design choices, obviously. Um, we have water machine. Look at our creatures are getting huge. Pretty soon those guys are gonna just destroy our base. Uh, we have our nuclear reactor machine. I think we're pretty happily set up. Um, now this means that on Thursday, when we come back, we are going to be heading towards uh, this area here. <laughs> the biological research station. All, all of our signs are pointing us here. We're probably going to have to go deep, I would imagine. Uh, hence all the upgrades that we've needed. Uh, likely on our way, Alan will be like, oh, well, there's some stuff here. If you could maybe check that out for me, that would be great. And I'll be like, cool, Alan, let's do that. And then we'll just go from there. Like, look, we still have, um, we need to build the skeleton. We need to build tissues. We need to build organs. So we definitely have some Alan type stuff that needs to be done. So yeah. Anyways, guys done. We're done. We're done. Uh, we're going to wrap up now. I got to go eat. I only have about an hour and 10 minutes, but, uh, I'm going to go have a bite and then we'll be back for like actually Vermeer. <laughs> uh, I, I, over, I underestimated the amount of time it would take us to get there, but we'll be back. Thank you guys. Uh, oh yeah. Maybe we should make some ion cells. Hold on. Let me, let me pin that before we leave. Yeah. That's a, that's a good idea. Ion power cells and maybe some ion batteries as well and then we can make those when we come back okay goodbye guys see you later uh see you in an hour bye this was fun for me <laughs>